All right, here we go. So we're in game with one of the most iconic. It's iconic, yet it's shit. Weapons of all time in Call of Duty history, the STG. Now we've gotten to use this for one game over on stream prior to making this video. And I'm going to admit it was kind of mid. I wasn't super impressed with this weapon, but I'm really hoping that now that we got a little bit of a build and I'm going to go ahead and toss that build up on screen for you now that we're going to be using for this particular gameplay. Now that we have this little bit of a build, mostly I think how we would want it. I, I don't maybe we would run the no stock once we have that unlocked. I think we're mostly there with the build. So let's just kind of see how we feel about this gun now that we have a proper build on this thing and I will we'll take that turret circuit, but let's go ahead and throw on some of these perks we got. And of course we got a legendary tool. We got a flawless crystal. We got a mags of holding there. I'm going to hold off on just a little bit before we use that goodbye zombies. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I mean, tier one. I mean, it, tier one is tier one. <laughs> Look at that level 15. All right, let's go. A quick word from this video's paid sponsor, Messy Modding. They're a Call of Duty service company. They go in and unlock camos for you, including Interstellar and Borealis. They have pre-made accounts, nuke services, schematics, and more. Tons of reviews on Trustpilot. Use code COOL to save 5%. Use the link in the description down below. We are just going to head straight on in to the tier three zone here and really see what this gun is made of. It's definitely a lot snap, not a lot snappy. It's not, I mean, you want to talk about snappy, the new SMG and how that gun is snappy snappy but this is this is a lot faster than the build that we were previously using which was the build from the battle pass so now it is a long run over here into the tier three zone and it is already swarmed with people surprise surprise everybody's in the tier three zone all right we made it to the tier three zone and i think the first thing i'm gonna do here is throw on my golden armor now you really need to hit some headshots but oh yeah you hit some headshots that's a mimic that's definitely a mimic oh yeah come on mimic what do you got buddy what do you got what do you got for me haha uh -huh, nothing today pal he ain't gonna ruin my game today no sir nice I feel like everybody forgets to just grab that essence. I never see anybody ever grabbing the essence from those rifts. So that scored us. I, I don't really know how much, but there was like maybe like 3000 essence from that. Like that's that's kind of that's kind of insane. All right, let's get down here, get these inhibitors and start tossing these bad boys down. Now, one thing I did learn about this STG while we were playing that game with it over on stream a couple of days ago is it is really really good against the warlord i it's actually the first time i've ever killed a warlord with a bullet weapon so interesting fun fact there oh an epic ether tool just in that crate right there that's awesome finally the last one there's so many zombies that spawn here in these contracts this like this could be a lot of fun like if you try to save all of the zombies it, it's it's fun it's fun one of my favorite things to do especially when i was camo grinding oh i would love to do the spore controls and just not kill any zombies until the end and just have some fun with it this could be just as much fun as farming in exville and you actually get some rewards and stuff out of it as well so all right now these manglers are actually being a royal pain in the tush right now so let's see if we can take care of at least one of these bad boys. There you go. You got to hit the criticals, cool whip. There you go. You got to hit the criticals, cool whip. What are you doing, pal? Oh my gosh. You got to learn to aim. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, hit those criticals. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I might want to retract my previous statement about this gun being nothing but mid. Um, I mean, it's not a whole lot above mid. And the main reason I say that it, it is not fantastic at all against the bosses. You see, we struggled a little bit against those manglers. There's a raid weapon stash up here. I don't know if we can get it, but we can certainly try. 
right? Oh, we're too late. Oh, a cargo delivery. Okay, let's go. All right. I mean, I'm not going to say that this gun is OP because it's not OP. Let's 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 be real here, people. This gun is not overpowered. Not at all. But man, it sure is fun to use in the sound this gun makes when you fire it. Oh, that it is absolutely incredible. One of the most pleasurable sounding guns inside of the entire game, maybe in Call of Duty history. Okay, that might be a bit of a stretch cool whip, but I mean, it is good. It is good. And cargo delivered just like that in a chug suit. Look at that level 19 already. We almost got this bad boy leveled completely up. I think there's 21 levels of this thing. We started at level 12, I think. Nope, level 14. We started at level 14 cool whip. But yeah, I mean, we're at 19 already and we're, we're not, we're barely over 10 minutes into this match so okay we need to get 550 rounds that's actually that's actually pretty painful i i just now noticed that you only get 550 rounds with this weapon that is that's definitely a little bit painful get it we'll just slide right off of there bam oh mega bomb oh where did you come from pal oh my um looks like uh sniper Genghis is gonna take care of you so i'm gonna go do my contract you guys have fun. Have a wonderful day. Have a merry, merry Christmas. Let's grab some perks. Now, usually I like to wait till the end of the match to just perk up so that I save the essence and it works toward my cooldowns. But um, I don't know. I'm just feeling perky right now it's uh it's 1 30 in the morning my local time i just got home from work my real job like not not my my youtube job but i mean this really isn't a job this is this is just a hobby at this point maybe question mark a hobby that i spend like 40 hours plus a week doing which you know if you enjoy it and you like watching my videos the best thing that you can do for me is just smash that like button because it really does help so hey if you enjoy it, please, we uh, we would appreciate the support. All right, what do we got? One more to do, I think, yeah. One more. That's the last one. All right, perfect. And let's get a whole bunch of these bad boys lined up, huh? I think that we definitely should. Let's throw a decoy, actually. Oh, yeah, here they come. Here they all come. All oh, the pups are uh, flanking us there. Oh, my gosh. This guy's trying to flank. These guys are running up on us. There we go. Now let's tear through them. Cool whip. Oh, show them what this STG's got, baby. Let's go. Ah, oh, we got one behind us. One of them got behind us there. Now that was destroying a horde right there. How about this Disciple? What can we do against him? All right, it's not bad against Disciples at all. All right, we got that active. Now let's save all of the zombies for the end. Let's save them all. Get it down. Get, get out of there, Cool Whip. Get out of there. Plate, plate, plate. All right, let's lure these guys all right over here into our trap. It's time to fight. Oh, where are you going, Mimic? Don't don't you try to come out around me. Man, I hate when they flank you like that. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. All right. This is definitely a very solid weapon. It might not be the fastest at killing all the bosses in the game I, i'll give you that it is not the fastest at that and i don't imagine it's going to be the fastest weapon killing omega abomination either we are going to take this into the dark ether of course just like every other video now a lot of you have been saying that your tier three zones have been basically empty lately and I, i'm jealous I am so jealous. We have a mega down here. We will fight him before we go to the buy station. First, we got to take care of the mimic because he's going to ruin our day. There we go. Start dealing with some of these zombies around here. You're doing really good tonight, Cole Whip. You're doing so good, buddy. You haven't gone down not even one time yet. I know you're not supposed to say things like that, but man, I just got to pat myself on the back sometimes. We're actually handling things really well in this zone today. It doesn't feel quite as intense as some of my more recent games have felt let's go and throw this energy mine it is really absolute key it is the key that you have to hit critical shots with this stg it's it's kind of garbage if you're not hitting critical shots make sure your aim is on point make sure you got that dead shot 
and hit those criticals. All right, so we're just by, I guess, five Casimirs. Then we'll stow one of those bad boys away, and that way we have six of them. And that, I think, will do it. And I'm going to head on up here to this tornado at the top of the hill, and I'll see you in the Season 2 Elder Dark Aether. All right, here we go. Now, like I said, I'm going to try to not use the jug suit and we're just going to use this STG against the bounty here, unless it happens to be that disciple. And in which case I'm using the jug suit because, oh my gosh, that thing is a pain in the tush, but we got the mega abomination. All right, get our first few shots on him. Get him lured up out of here. You definitely do not want to fight in this fog. It gets pretty, pretty dangerous there. All right, let's see what we can do against these elder zombies. Um, not too bad not too bad as long as you're hitting the criticals keep aiming high cold whip aim high there we go good job is he not coming did he decide he didn't want to play he he did he's not coming um hey buddy um mr mega abomination dung glory dung dung claw dung glory dung curry I, I don't know i don't know how to say his name um but either way he he needs to just come up here and play and we need to take care of these zombies. I think he's headed this way now. Yeah, he is. Let's go. Keep aiming high, Cool Whip. Keep aiming high. Go ahead and get that first head knocked off of him. There you go, Cool Whip. Get some plates on, buddy. There you go. Oh, man. Doing so good. Let's not add to this down counter today. Let's just not do it. Taking a stand. No more downs, said no man ever. Except this man. Oh, wait. He says no more downs. Comment down below. No more downs. Simply for the sake of engagement. No more downs. For no other reason than to help this video grow. All right, energy mine, because this... Things are about to get real here. Throw on some plates. Cool whip. There you go. All right. Did we get a head blown off? No, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Now, it really, you do feel the little bit of a weakness that this gun might have when you are in this Elder Dark Aether. I'm not going to lie about that, but it's still getting the job done. We're still getting the job done. We still haven't gone down. We're taking care of the zombies. We're taking care of the Mega Abomination. We're taking care of this Disciple right here, which is so annoying. All right, last head here on this guy. Come on, get him, Cole Whip. Ah, oh, all right, so close. There you go. Show me those criticals. Let me get those. There we go. Now he's dead. Perfect. And he gives us a pack of punch. One crystal. That's fine. VR 11 case. Eh, don't really want it. Y'all like to roast me for that all the time, but hey, whatever. I don't, uh, I don't care that much for VR 11s. Yes, I have been failing the season one escort contract way more often than normal here lately, but that, that still does not make me want to carry a VR 11. I'm hoping that the turret circuit spawns in and Hey, donuts. If you're watching, um, buddy, you've just been blind. Cause that turret circuit's been there all along, buddy has <laughs> been there all along, pal. I have seen you talking about it in one of your uh, recent videos and yeah, it's, it's been there. It's been there this whole time. All right. We're off to such a bad start. We're, oh, this is, this is getting rough. This is so bad already. All right, Casimir time. Oh, so close. No more downs. You're almost there, buddy. Yes, come on. Everybody die. There we go. Let's go. All right, a mag of holding. I would definitely take that. We'll take that extra elder sigil. All right, one more contract to go. And then we actually, before we do that, I think we're going to go over here and check these crates inside the stronghold and see if we can still open them in season five because we we haven't checked that yet all right we're gonna do one casimir on the ground and hopefully we'll, yeah, we can still open them let's go um nothing inside oh a pack a bunch two crystal very nice we'll take that we'll replace a self revive with that and there's one more to open here we're gonna go down Oh no. Yeah, we're going down. We're Oh, the down. No. Oh, we were so close to not going down at all. And we have, I think, four Casimir. Yeah, we got four Casimirs we can use with this bad boy. And we'll do one more Casimir just to keep us safe while we check this last 
rift here blood burner keys definitely a wonderful time with this stg just one of the best weapons of all time inside of call of duty so if you enjoyed the video please make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel while you're down there it's absolutely free and we appreciate your support my name's cole whip and i'll see you in the next one